Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's Christmas Eve. We're just at that doorstep of Christmas. Now, of course, the Christmas season starts way before that, and it's been a fantastic one this year, despite of everything which the COVID situation has thrown at us. Yes, it's very different, and yes, we haven't been able to enjoy the season as much as what we would have liked to have. But for me personally, I think in a way that whatever has gone on this year in regards to COVID and what has changed our communities, our families, and sadly, those who are absent from our Christmas tables and the families which have been affected by COVID and have sadly lost people. Through an aspect that everybody in my family is safe and well, I actually take a very humbling and very thankful and very heartwarming notion that this Christmas will be more special. And I actually take a moment to say that my heart absolutely goes out to all of those people who have family members who are no longer here for this Christmas and would have probably have given anything to have been here for this Christmas. So I think that's what makes this year all the more special. The Christmas time is so magical and one of my favourite quotes from one of my favourite Christmas films is that miracles happen every day and they certainly do. But of course this year it does leave us in a situation where we're wondering what next? What happens in 2021? So as I've said several times this season, I think what we need to do is enjoy the now, enjoy the present, slow everything down and enjoy Christmas with our families and our loved ones. And going back to the COVID situation, I think from what we've heard everything this year and that what so many poor blessed people have gone through, it almost makes us value things more. It makes it a little bit more special to think that everybody's well, everybody's safe. It does in my family. And that makes me think that, do you know what? For those people who are no longer here, I will be making sure that I have a fantastic special time. But if for anything, out of respect for them not being able to. This year has been tricky for us all, and it's then nice to enjoy Christmas, um, to sort of as a point of closure, and then as a point to welcome 2021. In my situation, I've had my health problems. At the start of the year, I lost my Alaskan Malamont, Sabre, or Savadori, or Babe as I used to call him, and still call him, as I pray most nights. And I also, <sighs> find it difficult that myself, I've almost kind of, I hate to use that word deteriorated, but my side and my groin problems and things have slowly sort of worsened. So that leaves me in a situation where I kind of think that, do you know what? I've broke my teeth down and I think to myself, I've put so much into Christmas. I've spent so much on getting the perfect gifts. I'm really going to give myself a damn right good Christmas. and I'm going to raise a glass and I'm going to really, really enjoy this festive time. And that's what we all should do. This year has been one of the toughest, and I will remember this for many years to come. So this is Christmas Eve. So let's turn the happiness up, the vamping of the Christmas music higher, and pour a glass of something special. For me right now, in my safe COVID bubble, as my I live in the family home, so I have seen my nieces and nephews throughout the COVID situation, Perhaps for my mum helping look after them where my brothers go to work, and whilst different things go on, and, and of course as a family you're always helping. So thankfully I have been able to see my family this Christmas Eve, and it's been really magical and really, really wonderful. I helped my mum with the Christmas preparations for the food for this evening and for tomorrow. All of the gifts are wrapped, they're stockpiled high up right in front of me. The Christmas carols were being sung by myself this morning, and I've been playing Christmas music all day. The Christmas cards were written long ago and handed out, and I handed out a few last minute things yesterday to different relatives, just putting it through their door and making sure everyone was okay. And yesterday, amazingly, I was able to drop all my nan's gifts off. Um, being a little bit like Santa, I have to admit, which is just amazing. This Christmas season, of course, has been difficult for us all, but I have actually been able to still, even with my health problems, been able to get out and about, and I've enjoyed several festive lunches with family members and my mum. I've done lots of Christmas shopping, mainly online, but I have been out and about, and it's been really lovely and really special. I've even got to spend time with my nieces and nephews. I made gingerbread with my niece. 
I got to spend some lovely time with my nephew today, which I don't normally see because he's very much for his games console. I also got to see my baby Sienna niece. Um, this will be her. F this is her second official Christmas, but her first one, which she's really known about. And of course, family is everything at Christmas, isn't it? So you probably hear that a lot from me on my channel. But this Christmas, it just almost feels like that. I think through whatever everything we've heard this year, it's just vitally important that you grab hold of everybody, you grab hold of your loved ones, and you hold them and you squeeze them tightly. Whether or not you're actually going to do that, <laughs> um, I've done it to one or two, but hypothetically, it's literally just holding people, holding the ones closest and dearest to us and making sure they're okay. For me, it's spoiling people at Christmas. But of course, the Christmas season is so much more than that. It's not or it, of course Christmas is fantastic, having an absolute lavish banquet and having the finest beverages and the most amazing gifts under the tree and the smiles on my nieces and nephews faces and of course on mine and my parents and my grandparents. But it's not about that, it's about coming together, it's about the simplest of things, it's about spending time with one another, love, appreciation, care and that fact that everybody is together for this Christmas period time and everybody's safe and well. A lot which if we look back people have taken for granted in the past because there will be absent places on many families Christmas tables this year and that even just saying it is heartbreaking because if I think for one minute that one member of my family would be missing I really don't know what I would do but of course we don't know until we're in that situation so my heart goes out to you if you're in that situation Christmas is a magical time and you are literally astonished when you actually just take a moment, read through the stories online, watch the news, or actually even sometimes that traditional thing of picking up a newspaper. We hear so much of the bad things, but good things happen too, every day, more so this Christmas season. I've given to my selected charities, the Salvation Army, the Alzheimer's Research Charity, and do you know what? I feel good. Yes, I've got a few things which I'm not necessarily looking forward into 2021, but hey ho, it's time to raise a glass, it's Christmas Eve, dancing around the Christmas tree, sing some hymns. If you can't see your loved ones this Christmas Eve or this Christmas at all, pick up that phone, use technology. Christmas is an amazing, magical time. Let's make sure that we remember it for that. Let's not remember Christmas 2020 for COVID. Let's remember it for our amazing family Christmas, our amazing love and affection and our amazing way that we handle this whole situation. My love and very best wishes to you. My channel has been an absolute godsend this year. Never in a million years did I think that I would have the subscribers of what I've got. So my heart goes out to every single one of you and thank you very much indeed for taking every single second and watching my channel and following my clips and following my journey. There will be a lot more to come I can assure you in 2021. So thank you very much for that and anybody who's ever watched my channel, thank you. Until next time, a very, very Merry Christmas and an extremely Happy New Year. Let's hypothetically take each other's hands and walk ahead. But first of all, let's enjoy this magical Christmas, which we've also been looking forward to. Happy Christmas to you all, my love and best wishes. And until next time, we'll see you then. I'm off for a glass of Prosecco or maybe a brandy or two. I'll see you then. Bye for now. Merry Christmas.